little walk today. Just doing a little bit of exploring. Just finding some old railway infrastructure. So that's a uh, good shed. Walk further up. Local school kids are getting quite militant out here. Okay, in my walk, I nearly fall over. I think I've come across an old culvert. Because the line, the old line runs across the top there. So, fascinating when you uh, just disappear off the beaten track. I do have a slightly controversial opinion in that I quite like the wind turbines. I think they're quite majestic actually when you look at them. Okay. You're on head cam, and we have telegraph pole. So you can tell this is sort of a railway because of just how straight it runs. So these are something kind of interesting. You'll see these spikes and these poles coming up every now and then sometimes you get it you'll see them on country roads and things uh, now this tells us where the gas pipelines are because like the sign says you don't want to dig and uh, rupture one of the gas mains which is a good idea ah, more of the old uh, infrastructure Sorry, you have to go on to the lower quality bit. Um, so, that way, it's back towards the bridge at Guy Hearn. And so, I turn you around. Uh, walk back that way towards the car. Ah, nice to see the um, signal still there as well. So you can see the stands where the bridge once was as well. And if you go over here, you see the other side. stuff like point rotting so that's a bit all broken up here wow finding lots of little curios okay it's interesting I didn't realise there was a uh, memorial here. Just gonna have a quick look, I suppose. That's interesting. These are actually memorials. So, Sergeant, Sergeant George R. Bruce, Sergeant Percival M. Taylor, Sergeant Henry N. O'Shea. Sergeant Percy G. Crosby, Sergeant Ernest A. Lawrence, Sergeant William M. Evans, Sergeant Jack Dix, and Corporal James C. Fox. 
So, this memorial is dedicated to the crew of Wellington Mark 1CZ8863 KO G of 115 Scrotchen. Crashed here on November 24th, 1941, with the loss of all crew. It's fascinating. I never knew that there was a uh, crash here somewhere. Albert Harwin, who without regard to his own safety went to the aid of the crew of Wellington Bomber Z8863 on 24th of November 1941. Okay. I'll let you read this. So, they crashed into a coal train. Loss of all crew. Doing some low flying. Well, I think I missed. AC2 Gordon S. Wakefield. I'm not sure what AC2 is. And this is where I am. The browser pits. So I am getting closer to the um, prison now, so I'm still following part of the old track bed. Considering I'm at one of the flattest parts of the country, it's all right. Just a little bit of a chat on what this walk was about, really. Behind me is Whitemore Prison, which is maximum security. But I'm not here for that. Um, I try not to film that too much, actually. The real reason I'm here is this, there is actually a disused railway along here, uh, and as you've probably seen, I've already put up various clips of where I've been already, but Whitemore was a little bit different, so before the prison was here, there is, it was a uh, rail yard, one of the biggest in the country, in fact, and the prison is on part of the site. So, so what was it? So, it was a massive marshalling yard, shunting yard. I believe it had a hump shunting system where the wagons were pushed up a small slope by a shunter and then they went down into the yard by gravity and were the points were switched where they needed to be sorted from and the 
track had what's called retarders to slow the wagons down remotely. But well, back in the day, there was, before they had that equipment, there was guys running around with their shunting sticks to put the brakes on to go and chase the wagons. So yeah, this is a part of that old network. During the war, it was part of the LNER. Uh, but the, there is still a yard there now, but it's only half the size of what it used to be. And a bit further down, it, it comes off of uh, March Station. So, but yeah. Uh, so this being Whitemore, being a maximum security, it had some truly awful people in there. It opened in about 1992. This is all off the top of my head. The reason why I know that is when it opened, oh nice dark bit here, when it opened I went to the open day as a child and so I do remember going into the prison blocks seeing it all quite quite scary really for a child to look at but yes so I have actually been in Whitemore prison but uh, so yeah it's kind of part of the reason why I'm here and this pass is leads up to what would have fed the yards. So the yards were, were I think they were shunted from both the, the north and the south. But um, I'm heading actually north back to where I parked my car. The battery's gone up my gimbal so um, you'll notice that there's been quite a lot of quality variation um, that's because the front facing camera on this only does 1080 um, and the rear camera is 4k but it doesn't uh, but the DJI app doesn't support it it only goes up to 1080 P30 for some reason. Uh, apparently it's a Android limitation. That's pigeon nest going the crap out of me. So fortunately I'm just gonna have to live with that for the moment. My last bit of infrastructure I think. Some kind of line side hut. Not sure what this is. If someone could tell me, that would be very useful. I'm talk back to the car and let's call an end to this video, I think.